yet again. I am moving to Arizona. I think this is my first time telling you guys that officially. I've kind of talked about it before, but Utah has done me good, but I'm moving back to Arizona. I'm at my parents' house right now, and me and my mom are about to go tour a bunch of apartments in the Scottsdale, Tempe area. I feel like that location will be good for me since it's kind of like a younger crowd. I am just praying I find the apartment today that I will be living in. Of course I had to bring you guys along too for this because I love your opinion and I also love just watching apartment videos. I think it's so interesting just looking at the layout of a million different apartments. I don't know why, I just like it. But let's get going. We have seven, six tours. Let's go. We had to come with Black Rock because I'm back in Arizona and I really missed it. Gut rot. The fuel is so good. Fuel sunrise. A little strong, but we're good. It's a um, good day. I'm not going to say the names of the apartments just because like the one I pick, I obviously don't want to say it. But for the price, I'll do dollar signs. One dollar signs cheap, two dollar signs medium, three dollar signs expensive as fuck. <laughs> Which was last night. <laughs> Unfortunately, I really like last night. I know, it was really expensive though. It was so cute. It's actually yesterday. We had a last minute tour that we're going to right now. I really wanted to tour it, but we didn't have time with the other ones. I just got off a flight, so I look unique, but we're gonna go tour it because I really wanna see it. I'm so excited. I feel like my dreams are coming true. I can't believe we're already starting this. I, I'm literally here in Arizona for like 24 hours. Literally, actually 23. I've already scheduled it out. <laughs> Starting out strong, this is the downstairs of the first apartment, the commons area where you could study. Here was the outside, the pool was super cute. I love those palm trees in a row, they were so adorable. Of course it had a hot tub, a necessity for me. And a gym, it was well equipped, it looked pretty good to me. And hello, that's me literally touring this in a sweatsuit, yep. Something cool to note is the lock system that they had. Everything was done through your phone, so it was super convenient. Loved that part. Getting into the first one, I actually really like this space. I love the white counters. I loved the big sink and faucet. The living room and kitchen felt super big, but kind of a weird shape since it was so like skinny and long. And here's my mom showing you lots of space in the closet. It also had a little balcony at the end of the living room. Here is the first bedroom, pretty good, nothing too crazy. I did like how it was hardwood floors. Bathroom is super big. Closet, a really nice size. Actually really love that closet. Hello, there's me again. Then it was kind of like a circle, so it went back around to the kitchen. Here's the same apartment complex, just a different layout, and I'm not gonna lie, I actually really liked this layout. I thought it was super big and spacious. The patio was huge, and you can see the pool. There was also a lot of storage, like this little door. Oh yeah, that's super nice. Looking at the living room and kitchen in a different view, I love it so much. It looks so big. The counter is huge also. The bathroom is also super big and spacious. The bedrooms, hardwood floor, I love it. Everything great in my opinion. Quick review on the place we just toured. I thought it was cute, I did. Modern, white, bright, everything good. But I know my stuff will not fit in there and the two bedroom was just way over my price where I just like could not pay that. It's ah! rent prices right now are insane. Wait, you have a free one today, do you need that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much ice? Off to the first apartment of the day. Starting out by going into the pool and hot tub area, everything felt like a hotel. It was really nice, really bougie. The gym was pretty nice too. It was definitely on the smaller side, but had everything that I wanted. I loved this apartment. I loved the colorings of it, like the floor and the kitchen. Everything was a decent size as well. Laundry room, of course. This place kind of reminded me of my old apartment in a way because of how it was laid out. This arch is so cute. Then going into the bathroom, it was actually pretty nice. I loved it. It had a bath, so that made me happy. Good. Necessity. So this... Bedroom was more on the smaller side, but that's okay. And the wall would be painted white for the one I'm getting. So funny, when I left in my mm -hmm. first apartment, I got what I got, and now it's just different. <laughs> oh, this is a great size. Big closet. The lounge in there if you're... <laughs> Door. Okay, oh, it's so cute up there set up though. Yeah, it is really cute. We really like this one. Super nice. It was a good price with good square footage. The only thing that sucks is, of course, 
they didn't have the two bedrooms to show me, even though I called ahead of time and said like, can I see the two bedrooms? We did get to see a one bedroom. Which was good. Which was pretty much the same thing. The other one will just have one extra bedroom. Yeah. It the was layout will be nice. different too. I don't know. I'm just gonna see, but I did like this one. And the one that's a two bedroom that's gonna be available, all brand new. It, yeah, no one, it's still no under construction there. right now. On our way to see the third apartment, she took us on a golf cart, which is kind of fun. We got a little tour without having to walk in the heat, but we saw the pools, we saw the hot tubs. There was actually three hot tubs here. Also a dog park, which was super cute, and a tennis court, which if you guys know me, you know I'm very ecstatic about that. All of their communal pieces were very cute, like the outdoor chess, gym, it's actually super big it has two different rooms going into our first apartment i thought this layout was my freaking favorite i thought it was so adorable the little fireplace for the charm the irregular shaped kitchen the den that was like almost a half bedroom i think is so adorable with the two french doors to open up into it oh wow it's big oh <laughs> wait it actually is kind of big <laughs> is that semi park there all the time? He is. He goes on trips. So. <laughs> So. This is actually so big though. No, I have a potty pad in that right, center. like looking back at it, it definitely wasn't the smaller side, which is kind of sad because I just love the layout. And it had a freaking big laundry room. This is good for laundry folding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what's it for? What? What's up there? Cat business. That's fair. Ooh, we can sneak out there some nights. Oh god. Good pantry space though. The bedrooms were adorable. I loved these little windows. It was like sea glass and you could see the reflections in the floor and it looked like a rainbow. It was literally my favorite. But the closets were a big issue. They were definitely not big enough for what I need. The bathrooms, they were good, but definitely more on the smaller side as well. But she decided to show us a different layout. So here's the same apartment complex, just a different layout and this one was Definitely much much bigger. I still had the fireplace, still had the cool shaped irregular kitchen which I really liked. The patio was smaller than the other one but still a pretty good size. They had a door leading into the master bedroom which I thought was kind of a fun touch. The bathroom was super big. I love the big mirror. And look at that closet you guys. It is so freaking big. I am so hyped about this closet. This is something that I put way up my priorities list and just seeing it being so big made me so happy. And I also have my little baby window. A little weird how close the toilet was to the bath but I don't know. Here is the laundry room. The only thing that sucks is you would have to put your pantry in your laundry room. So, but here's the second bedroom, also having a decent sized closet, which I was very surprised by. Lots of storage, which is really good. Second bath. And then oh. full alarm to your whole house. Cool. Awesome. We both also like this one. It's, it's gonna We're be tough. joking because like everyone we go to, we're like it's a little bit better, right. a little bit better, a little bit better. The well, price was a little bit more than before, but yeah. I think it's worth it because it has more space. I made this like notes. I am the assistant. And my mom's like filling it out when we go to each apartment. I feel so. nervous, but I'm not gonna do this the right way. There's a lot of questions on here to answer. Yeah, hot tub, yes, two. Three, actually, they have three hot tubs three. here. I am a yes. huge hot tub, yes. like bath girl. Yes. Fire, yeah, fireplace. The, the apartment had a fireplace and it's like Arizona, which is like so bizarre, I feel like. It's but more aesthetic. It is really aesthetic. The vibes of this place were elegant. Like I just did honestly didn't feel like I belonged here. Everything was so bougie, so nice. Like I felt like I was in New York or something, but she showed us around the communal things like the fitness center, which was huge. Looks so beautiful. They even had a yoga room, which looks so bougie. I wanted to go in there so bad. The outdoor space, oh, it just looks so fun to be in. The views, oh my gosh, you could see both the mountains with little fairy lights in the back. Like, I'm obsessed. This pool was also so beautiful. It has a pool, has a hot tub, has some grills people can use, and a big old table for a residence to use whenever. Now, I will say the apartment did kind of feel smaller, I guess, than the other ones I was touring. Maybe Maybe because of the square countertop, but I did still kind of like it. This is actually so, that's such a good idea. I love that. Then, I love how yeah. they're see-through. You could get like cute glasses and put them up there. 
Now going to the first bedroom, it definitely also was on the smaller side, which kind of sucked, but definitely doable. The bathroom was a very good size. It had weirdly tall curtains, like what? Like why is it so far above the rod? We were kind of confused by that. But anyway, the closet was a good size. I liked that. I thought it was cool to have a mirror lit up like that. Good for makeup. Second bedroom, around the same size with around the same size bath as well. Review on that one. This is the first one that I'm not like actually really in love with. A, the price turned me off by a lot. Like it was really expensive and it wasn't even like that amazing. It was small. They had a cool pancake skillet, but like that's about it. What about the hallways? They freaked me out. Yes. They were so long and dark. I don't know dark. if I videoed no the hallways, light. but no like light. literally they, like white walls, gray doors, lights coming down. Like it was creepy. It was, they were so long that it felt like you were walking into the twilight zone. And yes, it was like divergent. Was. Like it was yes. like scary. Like grab, a, grab your first weapon and go. <laughs> Mm, it's good. It? The fact that these burgers are actually kind of small makes me happy. Hmm. What's the healthy girls? <laughs> We're here for a little midday pick me up to fuel us for the rest of these apartments. Immediately, I was in awe of this apartment. Like, look at the decor. It is so elegant and beautiful. This is the communal area, you guys. Look how well they decorated everything. It's so aesthetic. I love it all. Here's the pool. We didn't get to fully go out here because they are just opening everything up, so there was some construction still going on. But it had a pool. It had a hot tub. Here's another communal room. I thought these arches were to die for. You can study in them, do whatever. I can edit in them. This place just knew what's up. Wait, when did you guys open again? Just a few weeks ago. That's so crazy. <laughs> so yeah, as you can tell, they just opened up. Here's the gym, looking good and well equipped. Hello, that's me again. They also had like a Soul Cycle yoga room. So freaking cool. Anyway, going into our first apartment, I was dead. I love, love, love the light wood. So here's a view from the kitchen. It was pretty basic, just a long rectangle. Oh! <laughs> My nail just fell off. No. Honestly, the view was not that good. It was a parking lot, and I really was not super obsessed with that, which kind of sucked. But going back into the bedrooms, it had hardwood floors, which I love. The bedrooms weren't the biggest bedrooms ever, but they weren't the smallest bedrooms ever. The mirrors were a good size. The bathrooms were white and bright and welcoming. The closets were a good size as well. Oh, I love it. And the, yes, I love that. It's like my mirror for my vanity. It like changes light settings. That's fun. Yeah. But going back to the kitchen, I just need to show you guys this because I am so obsessed with the light wood going on here. The washer and dryer looks brand new with lots of coat space. But she decided to show us another unit, which also was beautiful. It wasn't too different than the previous units, but the closets were smaller, which kind of sucked. But the master closet was a lot bigger, which was kind of good for me, I'm not gonna lie. That's all I need, a lot of space for a lot of clothes. And then, when we left, we got little baby succulents to bring home. Talk about good marketing. Hello. Quick review why I pump my gas. That was fucking beautiful. That was so beautiful. Everything about it was so pretty. I liked it a lot. I think you liked it. It was brand new. It was clean. It was very simple. I love simple. the color of the cabinets. Like clean the lines. The vibes of everything were just so modern. To me, kind of hotel-ish. You're getting a puppy. It's not just you anymore. You're, you have to be able to go outside the puppy a lot to the other one. <gasps> Gotta go. <laughs> The other downside of this place is like it was really expensive. Like one of the most expensive ones. And I don't really know if I want to spend all that every single month. But it was really effing cute. So I'm really torn now. Right. But we have another one to look at. So let's go. Our last tour of the day was pretty good. She showed us around the communal areas. Everything looked very well kept. Had a pool, had a hot tub, had a freaking doggy wash, which is so perfect for my new pup coming. It was so cute. The gym, looking good, looking beautiful. Then we walked into the first place she showed us. Honestly, my first opinions was the countertop was kind of small, but I really did like the colors of the kitchen. Ooh, kind of a very small bedroom. 
the bedrooms were kind of small, but the closets were pretty big, which is a plus. Bathrooms were really nice. I really liked the white with that wood color. The patio was a kind of small, but kind of decent size with a view of the parking lot. Not super obsessed with that. Here was the master bedroom, actually. And leading into the master bath, this place was huge. I loved it. The mirrors were ginormous. This is called a wet bath, wet shower. I can't really remember, but I thought the concept was very cool. The closet was huge. Big plus there. She was showing all the storage in the bathroom, which was a lot. <gasps> and a water dispenser. I love these. Actually, are so underrated. Washer and dryer with a little bit more storage. I'm giving you guys another look at the colors, which I loved. Okay. Final apartment review. That one was very cute on the inside. Mm -hmm. I will say I liked the color scheme a lot. Very clean. But the bedrooms were pretty small. I will Everything. say. The ceilings were vaulted, which made it feel larger, but they were yeah. long and narrow and kind of yeah. small. And overpriced, maybe. Oh say. my gosh. That that is the kicker. Like I that's why I would even... not get that. That price was so high. If anybody's wondering what they should do with their lives, go into real estate. <laughs> Literally. And then on top of that, charge them extra for dog care. Charge them extra for garbage. Trash. Tra electric car water, carport. Um, garage storage like oh all my the gosh things. all the they things. will find a way to rack up that price and then you're a millionaire there are <laughs> tips from the benways <laughs> that was a loaded you video have a lot to i have tonight. a lot to think about tonight it came down to two at the end of the day which the ones that i would actually pick you guys should try to guess which one i'm gonna pick down below and we'll see are you gonna do like right. a b c d i'll do like e, numbers a, like a, one two three oh, four that <laughs> <laughs> anyways I hope you guys love this video. I love watching apartment hunting videos. So hopefully I entertained you guys you, for 15 minutes. You usually minutes. have them about once a year, so. Honestly, <laughs> honestly you guys. I have been moving every single year of my life for the past, actually no, like every six months. We're gonna change that. This will be the last place I move for a long time. And I'm gonna tell you guys that. Mr. Benway thinks the same because if we have to move you around. Because he hates, my dad hates moving me around everywhere. But he does it, he does it. I will catch you guys next week. Peace out. Girls go. We're bringing it back. Welcome back, welcome. Come back. I know you like that. I know you like